Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing our playthrough of Neverwinter Nights. Uh, we're heading deeper into the forests to the south of Fort Ilkarn, trying to find the third word of power. Um, if you want more of the story, you can go back and watch the videos. I need the watch time. <laughs> so I don't want to go too far into uh, recapping episodes anymore because there's it's just too much has happened. You, need, you really just need to go back and watch the videos. It helps me out uh, growing the channel. So feel free to go back. Uh, but we do need to go and find these pillars of light. I can already see them on the reflections of the water, but I don't want to rush too quickly through this stuff because you never know what you might find on these corpses. Uh, Brawler's belt. Should probably start selling off some of this stuff. I'm getting relatively close to my weight limit. For those of you who have not been following from the beginning, I will tell you that I have everything. I'm completely a rogue with one level of Shadow Dancer that allows me to hide in plain sight, which basically allows me to disappear in front of enemies as I'm fighting them, as long as I disengage. So if you watch me click off of a monster, hide, and then come back, that's what I'm doing, because I'm trying to maximize my sneak attack damage, which is extremely helpful. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the, let's go back to, uh, here so I can sell off, we can rest, and then I can sell off a bunch of my stuff, and empty out my weight, because it does start getting a little much. Oh, crap. <laughs> I was in the wrong side. Wow. Um, that was stupid. When's the last time I saved? Hello. Okay. Oops. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that. That was really dumb. I was not paying attention. I was... That was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, really dumb. Uh, okay. Well, anyways, we'll have to redo a little bit of that, but better to do that than lose the 178,000 in gold that I had, because I'm certainly not going to get anywhere close to that back um, by reselling the stuff back to him. So, no. We'll go over here and kill this thing that we killed last time. Come on, Dalen. Yeah! Okay. I don't remember what we found. We found something interesting on one of the corpses here, but frankly, I'm not really that interested in going back to do that. So let's just go back here. We'll sell off our stuff. Try to make sure we don't do the stupid thing of buying half of his inventory before realizing that we we're in the wrong window. Okay. I need to be on this side over here, selling off my stuff to him, not buying not buying all of his crap. Uh, we'll put that in there, hopefully. Okay, sell. More room for that, that's fine. So, most, all of this stuff, that can go there until we get a full stack, because you can only sell full stacks of that stuff. There's nothing we can do with this hill giant head. I don't know what it's for. I'm sure it's probably for a quest, but we never ran across the, the person who gave us, who gives us the quest for that, so who knows. You obviously need his head for a reason. All right, now that we did that and I saved, so that hopefully we don't have to redo that again, let's head down this direction and hopefully we'll find whatever entrance we need to get to the area that has the last word of power. Oh, you punk. Oh, um, and of course he went full <laughs> invisible. Yeah, I've got lots of hit points. And I'm still missing them, even with plus 16 to hit. Dude, come on, hit the guy. Come on. There we go. Alright, this guy was over here, but... Oh, he's right there. I need him to cast something so he can stop being invisible. 
Mm -hmm. Um, come on, do something. Okay. At least we finally got him. Hopefully he has something that makes it worth us sitting there for two minutes waiting for him. Ah, Cultist Journal. You can pause to read there. You can pause to read there. Um, I'll hold on to it just because it's cultist related. And we can rest. Excellent. Save our game and move on. Anything up here? Mostly just trying to open up map open up the map so we don't miss anything. Not particularly interested in most of anything that they're gonna have down here, but whatever. Alright, so we just gotta make our way around. <clears throat> we were told in one of the previous episodes that uh, there's a place over here with some pillars of light. I can see the reflections off of the Wata. So we just gotta come over here and figure out how to get into it. Fortune. Didn't want to talk to you. Come on, hit him. Hit him. There we go. If we can keep our sneak attacks going, it's not too bad. Um, uh, there's a bunch of trolls here. Have at thee! Taste my Okay. Um As always, when I come across puzzles like this, I am going to go look up the solution so that you don't have to sit here watching me flounder about trying to figure it out on my own. So, I'm going to let me finish opening up the map and then I'm going to go oh that okay that wasn't too bad uh let me finish let me finish un re oh uh okay so that um, that's gonna unlock the that'll unlock the cave for us once we do that So I still let me I still want to finish unpainting or removing the fog of war from the fog from the freaking map here the blackness. Okay. Um, so let me figure out what I have to do here, and I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we re we destroyed the walkthrough. I said walkthrough. I got said we were supposed to destroy the one of the altars. That would let us in. But it also said that we were supposed to loot a, uh, we were supposed to loot a, a seed or something. And I haven't seen a seed. Maybe there's, a, maybe it's one, they said it was on one of the corpses. Oh, the Volcanus Oak Seed. That's what we were supposed to, that's what it said we were supposed to get. We'll take the, we'll just check, check these corpses real quick, just to make sure there's nothing else. But the Volcanus Oak, the Volcanus Oak Seed is what it said we were supposed to pick up and then destroy the altar over here, which is supposed to let us into the cave over here. So we'll see. Okay, that seemed to work. Adventurer's Note. The golems are invincible. It is only luck that has them move slo so slowly they can't keep up. Must be some way to defeat them. The strange wizard in the garden seems to know something, but she won't tell me. I must leave now, else I may never see my family again. We'll take that, because why not? I would imagine we probably need to have this with us so that we can talk to things in here. Quick save, and let's open up. Oh. Yeah, there's no sneak attack in here. Yeah. 
Okay, can we talk to this? This apparition does not appear to be able to interact with you. Um, okay, well, there's a door over here that's not covered in lightning, so let's check this chest really quick. Oh, there's another big door there. Let's check this one first, because it looks like it might be... Oh. Well, where does that go? Garden... Oh. Didn't they say something about the garden to go talk to somebody? I think that's what the note said, right? Strange Wizard in the garden seems to know something. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go out to the garden and see if we can talk to whoever is in the garden up there, and maybe they'll give us some information. Battle Axe plus one. Small garden is covered by a semi-transparent transparent magical field that glimmers above you. You can see the open sky through the bubble. Okay, well, Safira sounds like she's going to be the one. What? Who? Oh, oh, pardon me. I didn't notice you there. I was rather engrossed in my contemplations of the time stream. It's easy to get lost in their paradoxical currents, if I do say so myself. Well, who are you? You don't, don't you remember me? Oh, wait, maybe we haven't met yet. It's hard to keep things straight without a linear temporal reference in the time stream. No matter, I am Saphira, the wild mage. A wild, uh, a wild mage. Uh, what are you, uh, let me do number two. Time stream, temporal reference, what are you talking about? I suppose I should start at the beginning. Ha, <laughs> get it, the beginning? A little time travel joke. In a recursively accessible time stream, a beginning, by definition, cannot exist. How do you, how do you, now do you see what's so funny? No, Never mind. Uh, could you get to the point, please? I'm sorry. Some, sometimes, I sometimes forget temporal displacement is a confusing subject. I'm a researcher in, tempor in fluid temporality, time travel, if you will. That is why I am here in these ruins, because they are built, in, they are built on a time sink. Time sink? It, it is an area where it is possible to tap into the time stream and travel backward in time, though not forwards, unless you are returning to the temporal reality you started from. Of course, such a thing is not easily accomplished. It requires old and powerful magic. Fortunately, the creator race has already done the hard work by building us the sundials. Uh, do you know anything about this creator race? They were a brutal people, enslaving other races with their powerful magic. Physically, the creator race resembled the, li the lizard people of our own time. I have seen them when, they, when using the sundials to travel to the past. Are they still working? They are, if you know how to use them. I could teach you how to travel back to the ancient past when these ruins were still being built. But you will have to perform a task for me. And what's the task? I need the fruit of a rare old, old targ tree. I have the seeds, but the tree only bears fruit every 10,000 years or so. What I need you to do is to use the time sink to go back in time and plant the tree for me. According to my research, the only place you can safely plant the seeds and how the trees bear fruit is beneath the red warding rune painted on the soil of this garden. Plant the tree in the past, and I will be waiting here in the present to harvest the fruit. And what's in this for me? Don't worry, I'll see you're well paid for your troubles. I've made a fortune in gambling over the years. Plus, using the sundial to go back to the age of the creator race will send you to a time before the guardian go golems were created. You could go back to the past and maybe find a way to weaken the golem so that you could get the word of power you mentioned in our last meeting. Or maybe you're going to mention it in our next one. It's hard to keep everything straight. Okay, I guess I'll do it. You won't get very far if you don't know how to use the sundials. I've actually got a notebook that explains it all here. It's pretty simple. Here, take the notebook and these old tar tree seeds you promised to plant. Oh, and you'll need this time crystal. The time crystals are, power are magic items with a special use. Just use the special property of the time crystal and target the effect on the sundial and you'll be sucked back to a time when these ruins were still being built. When you want to come back, just use the crystal again on the sundial and you'll be transported back to the present age. And if you go back to the past, you might find some way to weaken the guardian golems, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think... So the word of power is still inside the ruins? As far as my research shows, there's a vault in the center of the complex, but you won't get past those guardian golems without the sundial. All right, so we gotta go find the sundial, wherever that might be. Go back in time, and then we'll be able to... So, does it tell me where I can find this sundial? 
probably going to be in here, huh? This massive door will not budge despite your efforts to open it. Inscribed on the door are the following words. Only the master of smoke, color, and sound may enter. There are three locks on this door. Boy, I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's... Oh, okay, there's a sundial. I wonder if it's going to be one, two, and three specific items that we're going to have to pick up along the way. Hmm. So the sundial's over here. Am I able to walk through this? Okay. Interesting. So we just want to go straight to the sundial because fighting any... We can't fight any of the golems. We've been told that they are invincible and of course I triggered the trap. Uh, let's go kill these guys and do the chests and get these chests <clears throat> since we're here. None of these should be, yeah, they're all easy, easy challenge rating. Of course, Dalen can't, it really irritates me. It's great that he has lots of hit points, but at the same time, like, when they're doing 35 damage every time they hit him, that's not really a lot of hit points. It would be a lot of hit points if he only took like 5 or 10 damage every time he got hit. And it's great that you can rest a lot in this game, but at the same time, it's like, you know, when you're fighting dragons and stuff that are able to do 30 and 35, 40, 50 hit points every time they hit you, and you can't stop in the middle of a battle to fight them. Oh, finally a locked chest. At least none of them were trapped. That helps out a little bit. Okay, are there any more chests? Does not appear to be. So... What were we supposed to use to get back there? Those are the... The, that's the old targ seeds are what we're supposed to plant when we go back. Okay, the time crystal, we use that on the sundial. That sends us back in time. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight some stuff now. What are we fighting? Well, at least now we can actually sneak attack some stuff. Of course, it would be nice if we could actually hit it. It would be nice if he would actually attack. He's just standing there like an idiot. But at least he's holding the attack on... Oh, finally! He's gonna do something. These guys aren't... These guys aren't chumps. They're very hard to hit. I already got one of those. Rest? Okay. We'll save. We already got it. Well, I'll grab this time crystal anyway, because why not? There's a chest over here that we can grab. Okay. Um. Well, before we get too much further into this, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. Hopefully you guys are having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows that you are. Subscribe to the channel so you know when the next video comes out. And I do have a link to my Patreon in the description if you'd like to help me turn this channel into a thriving online business. Again, thank you very much for your time, and I will see you for the next one.